Speaking of will, is an exclusive preserve of the rich. A lot of people don't want to go through that process because it's quite scary yeah, sometimes. They think they're about to die. So they miss all of this this morning. Joining us is to discuss the advancing digital financial and estate planning is founder Carrots.ng, Luke Mandalago. Welcome to the morning show. Great to have you, sir. Yeah, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for inviting me. Absolutely amazing what you do. Talk to us about your platform. Is it only just digital wills that people go on and write on your platform, carrots.ng? No, basically, thank you so much. Um, you know, like uh, Rufai mentioned, yeah. um, estate planning is like a mirage for people. People are scared of planning for the eventualities. Uh, but basically what we've done is we understood the fact that people think writing a will is a big deal. It's scary, but like we think we needed to simplify it, to make it more friendly, to make it more affordable. We also make it more convenient. So essentially what we've done is to create directors.carrot.ng to simplify the access for people to go online, create a will within 10, 15 minutes. And at the end of that exercise, we print the will, and then we take it to the probate on their behalf. After can the month people of science. really produce a, uh, write a will in 10 minutes? They can Isn't because that easy we, on your that's the answer. You know, like one, we've simplified accessibility and also simplified the way you write a will. Okay. So it's an interactive platform. All you need to do is like just log in, it's very secured, and answer some free questions, list your beneficiaries, your next of kin, and your assets. Once you do that, then you're done. Appoint your executors, appoint witnesses, and also if you have kids below 18 years, appoint guardians. So this platform is so simplified that everything that you need to do can be done easily. Like I said, you start with the online process by answering those questions and filling those information. And then once you're happy with it, you pay, like I say, very affordable, 35000 <laughs> and, and the 35000 is inclusive of the money we pay to probate. So you can't really have a valid will online alone. It has to be fiscally signed by the testator. The testator is the person writing the will. And then in the presence of two witnesses. So those are the people that will say, yes, I saw him when he was signing, so it's not a voodoo will. <laughs> and once they are done with that, they call us. We come to pick up the will and take it to the probate registry. Well, we pay 10000 from the 35000 to the court. Okay. The will is stamped and retained by the court, and a receipt is given. So the receipt will return to the testator, and then we scan a copy into the profile of the spectator in our, on our platform. So in case they misplace it, they have access to the backup copy. All right, let's dial back a bit. Yeah. Back we, we, we've seen issues about this. In fact, I'll, give, I'll, I'll cite two very prominent ones. A prominent one is a federal minister that died in the 60s in this country. We all know how the legal tussle for his property went until 1997 or 98. I'm not going to mention him. No, you, but, <laughs> but you remember that story. I know, I know. And in fact, it was something out there that they will always use in law school to teach you law and things like that. Another very shocking one was a senior advocate of Nigeria, a very prominent one, Extremely. one of the most brilliant lawyers that ever came that out of this country, but he still had legal tools. So what's the problem? Is it that Nigerians are not aware? But you'll be shocked in a case where a senior advocate of Nigeria, there was still a will dispute when he passed on. You see, he doesn't know better. I mean, what is really happening? And can you just talk us through the mindset? Um, you, you know, it ranges from... People's thinking writing a will is a taboo. To so some people thinking it's very expensive. To so others thinking, well, I don't have any money. I'm not rich. Some guys will say I'm young. Some guys will say I'm not old enough. So there are lots of reasons. Let me also maybe buttress what you just said. There's a guy that died in the U.S. recently, um, the, uh, the famous director, film director that died. Yeah. Uh, he was 53 years old. Yeah. He wrote a will in 1993, when he had just a son. Mm. And he never updated it. Between 93 and when he passed on this year, he had additional six kids. Mm. Wow. And he's worth $5 million. So the question is, how do you share the money? 
the first one is claiming this will belongs to the, the asset belongs to him. And the guys are saying, well, we have the same right. So the question is, when you look at all these issues here and there, expensive, young, old, don't have enough money and all those things, it's just trying to run away from the eventuality. The bottom line is everybody will die at one point or the other. And there's also a saying... When, when that you say, say that, no, no, the there, 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 go for beat. No, no, exactly. <laughs> there's also a saying, everybody wants to make heaven, but they don't want to die. Yeah. So the challenge is, and even for us, we, we've taken the issue of writing will not because you're dying. We have this stuff in our office, which says the will to leave. It's like you're taking an inventory of your life. For instance, loosely, I can say writing a will is like doing an handover note, leaving one job for another, getting promoted to another level. You see, the bottom line is you need to document whatever you have at any point in time. It's simple. And we realize that, okay, talking through third parties and co could take a while. I've had instances when people spend almost two years writing a will. But I can even use myself as an example. I founded Carrot because I realized that I needed, I lost my mom two years ago, um, over two years ago, and like I wanted to write a will. Then I sent an email to my lawyer, and the guy sent me a questionnaire, like 10 pages. So what am I going to do with this? Hmm. So the guy said, okay, you have to fill it, and then, then we, have, we have to meet, and then we we'll discuss. I said, in this age of digital technology, it shouldn't be this cumbersome. It shouldn't be this difficult. And it shouldn't be this time. It's a 10-page question. Exactly. So the question is, we said, you know what, we need, you know, and in my previous life, I've run electronic banking in banks and all those things. I said, you know what, I'm also a technology person. I said, let's get this thing done. Let's simplify it. And we got it done. Today, we have quite a number of customers. There was a guy, he already had a wheel. And... What did he do? He went to Dubai, saw one of our emails, and he did it in Dubai. He immediately returned back to, the, to Lagos. We delivered his will. He said, this is unbelievable, because the other one he did, it took him such a long time. So for us, simplicity is the essence. And, like, and if, even if you notice the societal impact, um, recently, about four weeks ago, there was suicidal a... Suicidal impact. Yeah, yeah, because when you look at... Um, on Twitter, someone tweeted a video of a lady and their kids and her kids being chased out of their homes because they just lost the breadwinner. Mm. Family members are coming and go. So it's like a stitch in time saves nine. So this bottom line is making a will is not as if you want to die. You should have that impression. It's like you're just taking an inventory of your life. Should anything happen, you are not putting your loved ones in jeopardy. They need to start from somewhere. They need to have something to look at and say, wow, this is what has been done, and it can easily be shared based on your own written What are the types of wills we have? Brilliant, brilliant, well, we brilliant. Go into that. <laughs> brilliant. Just because you just talked about this very sensitive issue okay. about the woman that was driv uh, driven out of her house and sure. all of that, what do you actually do with the wills that you that people write on your platform? Okay. Do you go through it with them with an attorney, and how do you highlight the right of a girl child or a woman? Because obviously you know that some laws, like the Igbo law that was ousted uh, recently by the Supreme Court, um, that you know girls cannot inherit from their um, you know, father's properties, or even women are seen as properties, yeah. and they're not included in their will. What do you do when you know, a situation like so, that arises? In, uh, in, in thank you so world? much. Um, I'll tell you two things. One, fantastic to the Supreme Court to have come up. But then, yeah. with or without the Supreme Court, the bottom line there is if you write a will, your will will be enforced. The state will support you. So. As an Igbo person, you write a will, the tradition is become secondary because your will should supersede any customary or traditional stuff. I'm talking about protection of girl, child, wife. Lagos State took the lead. Lagos State is fantastic, at least um, during the, I think, when Fashola was in charge. You cannot make a will without making a provision for your love for your dependents. 
If you do that, the will will be contested. So on our platform, we've, it's smart enough. When you say you are based in Lagos, the system will, and will, will advise you that you should leave a certain percentage of your inheritance to your wife and your kids. You cannot exclude them because if you do, then the will will be contested. So on current platform, there are lots of smart things that we've done to, to recognize your jurisdiction because, yes, we have a wills out for the country, but each state also have their own wills laws that you need to ensure that you comply with. And those are things that are reflected in the way we've done carrot. Okay. So you have things like, obviously, uh, geomapping. Uh, no, no. All you need to do just indicate the state of origin, okay, your so. state, and then we can do that. So. And, and talking about the type of wills, at least back, yes. to, your back yes. to your questions, uh, let me keep it simple. There are basically two types that you can think of. Mm. There's the last will, what people know generally, the, the will... The last will is the one that when you die, they will read. But there's also what we call a living will. A living will is so important. And, and we tell people both wills, both documents are very important for you to have in your lifetime. A living will protects you in case of some medical emergency. You could be in coma, you could be in some state that you cannot function yourself then when you have a living will, you will have given what they call advanced health directive in terms of, oh, these are the things, and this person can act on my behalf. But because when you're still functioning, maybe you take a lot of things for granted, but when something happens, then you realize that you're in serious trouble, but the living will protect you. And the main will, when you die, you ensure that your loved ones are protected. At least you are providing comfort for your loved ones when you pass on. So those are the two basic ones, although there are other type of estate planning tools that you can implement. For instance, you can say date of gift. Some people could say, you know what, instead of writing a will, you can say, okay, when my daughter attains the age of 30, this property should be given and to And it's her. called a deed of gift. Deed, deed of, of gift. gift. Right. So you can also create so a trust. So tell me something. The, the, <laughs> those two wills, are, do you recommend that we have those um, side by side, or does it come into the um, last will, the living will? No, no, no. Ab it... Absolutely, they should be they're separate document, but, and you can do both on carrot.ng. Okay. So when you go into the platform, you see you can make a will or you can make a living will. So it, the instructions are different because one is when you're alive, when the you're other alive. one when you pass on. Okay. So you can do both. You can't you can encapsulate them, them both together. Although then you can appoint the same attorney to be your executor. And all those, but like those, but, 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 they have but, to be different but documents. It, in the case where somebody is doing a living, a living will, will and we don't pray for it. Exactly. Like love will say, God forbid. Exactly. But God death forbid. comes, and what he only has valid is a living will. Living Can will. the living will act as a final win in the case of death? You, you, you know, the bottom line, the living will doesn't have anything in terms of your asset and it's just given an instruction. Oh, okay. so, so, so there's, it's important for you to have a will. And you see, writing a will is, is simple. You know, we just assume it's so complicated. You could even have a just one line out. All my assets bequeathed to my wife. Okay. Simple. You can keep it simple. Mm. But the bottom line is there are some elements that you must ensure you for. it must be written, it has to be signed, it must be witness, you must have sound mind, you know, and it has to be done will willingly. You should be a will. <laughs> it's a will. It's a will. So it will be your own will. will. It has to be, so it, it should be voluntary. Yes. It shouldn't be like, oh, you're being forced. If there's any element that is missing right. out of those things, then someone can contest the will. Right. But the bottom line, it's something that is good to have. You know, in Nigeria today, one out of 50 people maybe will say have a will. Let's um, look at yeah. another very shocking stat. So people mm -hmm. dying interstate. You're because sure? one of the biggest family disputes mm. is about people that die interstate. And a lot of people constantly are dying interstate without a will, exactly. without direction. And when I resort to the old method, letter of administration of well, probably the letter of administration, all the family coming now together, sharing their belongings. I mean, I'll give you a case in point. Somebody was telling me recently he lost his father. Oh. Uh, his father didn't write a will. What they did was they, they said the culture and the customary tradition is to shut down the house. Nobody has the right to use anything the father used and wait for, I think it was 50 market days that amounted to close to a year 
for them to now sit down and the family was going to share. And the boy needed to go to school. Of course. That's so his thing. education is on hold now. Because of? Because of cost of education. Time. I mean, what, what would you say about that? You, you know, uh, and that, you see, I can say, what you just described is actually one of the drivers for carrot. A friend of mine, when we told him about carrot, he said, wow, this is a blessing. Because when he was going to school, he lost his dad. The saving grace, and when the dad passed on, there was no will. So it took them five years to get a letter of administration before they could access the account. But the challenge, the, the opportunity for him was like the mom was a professional lady. So she could raise money on her own to fend for the family. You can imagine without that. So there are pockets of problems all over the place. Um, there was a research that we did. We realized that you can say to be conservative, there are about 10, we can say $10 billion unclaimed in the Nigerian financial system because mm. of lack of will, because of interstices. The challenge there is that five minutes, 10 minutes that you use to write a will, if you don't do it, you are putting your family in jeopardy. And that is not good for everybody. To make sense of it, how difficult is it to get a letter of administration? Because it's really difficult. <sighs> uh, you know, it's like a camel passing through the eye of a needle. It takes almost five years. Although Lagos State Government is trying to simplify it, um, whereby you can apply for a letter of administration online and co. But then, let's think about it. You, someone passed on. How do you even know what he has or what he owns? Mm. You can imagine, you see, you can imagine someone, you just lost a loved one. One you're going through torture. Then the oh, question well. is trauma. The question is, how do you even know what the guy owns? Because that is unplanned. Absolutely. It's unexpected. So the question is, you can't wake the guy up and say, you know, okay, what do you yeah. own? So, when you do a letter of administration, it's like a work in progress because you just do the one that you can lay your hands on. Oh, your bank account. Oh, I know this guy bought shares in UBA, did and what have you. So, they can get that. And they keep on searching. And all of a sudden, someone that the guy is indebted to comes up. You say, and that is what I was saying. You know, the exact opposite of letter of administration is writing a will. And the simplicity of carrot to make it very compelling that you know even just like we're here within five minutes you're done depending wow. on this on the volume of your assets and all those things so we are advocating that everybody in this country should have a will it's not whether you're rich or you're poor or you're young very good. just have a document that specifies that okay fine this is the way my asset everything you work for it is good to have the last word Very good. on and what I know, you want. I know that you um, also have um, a life insurance policy yeah, also sure. in oh, your bank. Th thank you I so mean, much. that's another taboo that, I mean, I, <laughs> I know that the will writing alone is tough. How yeah. do you even convince people to try to get a life insurance policy yeah, um, in Nigeria? You know, you know it's, it's a simple, it, the way to look at it is like, we should all be very... We should all know how to manage risk. Having an insurance policy is managing risk. Unexpected. You're traveling abroad. You don't have a travel insurance. All of a sudden, you've got delays. Your bag stuck in the middle. What happens? You're stranded in a foreign country. You don't have access to anything. With a simple travel insurance, you're guaranteed some money to take care of yourself. The same with, travel, with life insurance. You travel, anything can happen to you unexpectedly. Your loved ones will be kicked out for. When you subscribe to Carrot, we provide it with a free one million personal accident insurance for one year. So in case of accidental death... That's so when you do the will. When you do the will. When you do the will, you, are, you, 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 you get one million. In case anything happens to you within the first year of writing the will with us, your family gets one million. In case you're hospitalized, you earn almost 100,000 naira in terms of hospital bills. Or hospital and bills, 100,000 naira 100,000, up okay. to 100,000. And after one year, then you are free. You have the freedom to renew or not to renew. 
And in addition, then you can buy life insurance policy on our platform. You can buy travel insurance. And those are things that we've done to improve the lifestyle of people that want to subscribe on our platform. What does a typical life insurance policy cost? No, basically it depends on the value that you want. But if you're looking at, say, a million naira cover, you could be talking about 6,000, 7,000. So it's not really expensive. It's something that you use um, to have lunch with your friends. <laughs> and then you're saving yourself. <laughs> as a company, and, yeah. and as you're passionate about yeah. this, we also know that the laws have to be passed yeah. to be able to make this work. Yeah. And I want to ask you, what advocacy work have you done to? What sort of lobbying work have you done? Because, you see, the instrument of government and the National Assembly, and the, arms of, and the legislative arms of government, it is for us to be able to use those instruments and influence the laws and the changes we want to see in society. What have you done as regards that? Um, okay, fine. One of the things we're doing is, you know, you, 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 we're talking about government changing right now. So mm -hmm. there's a new government coming to town yeah. in two weeks' time. So when they come in. But before then, we, there's a body called Elfina. Mm. Um, Elfina, um, the champion financial inclusion. Okay. So we've approached them to say, you know, when you talk about financial inclusion, you need to also include estate planning. Because there's no point inviting people to open bank accounts to get financially included without having a plan in case of the unexpected. Mm. So that is one bit that we're looking at. The second bit we're looking at, like I mentioned, there's no law that you can point your hands to to say that encourages electronic will drafting mm. in the country. In several countries all over the world, electronic will is allowed. So we're hoping that Lagos State Government could be one of the first that may be exact, exactly. And like you need to talk about security and what have you. So right. those are things that we are looking at, and hopefully, I'm sure Lagos State Government is very proactive. Yeah, technology uh, person. Are exactly. You, uh, are, you, are you thinking of using blockchain in writing of will? Certainly, and things like that? certainly, 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 blockchain. Those are technologies that we're looking at. But like for now, we will keep it simple. But whatever we do on our platform, it is secured, it is safe, and you can be rest assured you have a valid will at the end of the day. And you also have something called the unemployment benefit insurance as, as well? Yeah, exactly. We, we, that is work in progress. We've not launched that. We wanted to partner. We, we had a partnership with an insurance company that was offering that before, but they stopped it. So I, I was exactly. amazed when you know, I saw you know, that. You know, it's something that, you know, in, in <laughs> most countries, I'm sure maybe in the U.S. Yes. and in Canada and what have you, they have unemployment insurance benefit. And then mm. when you lose your job, at least for six months, one year, you should be able to get by without... Mm. But, like, you know, there's nothing like that. There's no safety net in the country. So we felt, okay, this is something important because we look at the people we're catering for, professionals. In the process of writing the will... You lose your job, depression sets in, then what can we do to help you? So that's the answer of the insurance packages that we've introduced, the life insurance, the travel insurance, something that could provide relief and comfort for you. So for us, we say we want to provide comfort for our customers and their loved ones. So anything that will add value along that line, that is what Carrot is planning to do. Let's talk about jurisdictions. Okay, what if somebody says, okay, I've got a wheel in... Paris. Okay, fine. Is it important for the person to write another will in Nigeria? You know, you, we're talking about different geographies. Yes. Yes. So the laws in France and EU is different from the one in Nigeria. Let me give you one simple example. In France, there's what they call crawback. So if you're a Nigerian and you migrate to France and you become a French citizen. And before leaving Nigeria, you've given out your cars, your property, and what have you. And when you become a French citizen, if anything happens to you, your estate, the French will look at it from saying everything that you've given out in your lifetime when you were in Nigeria should be gathered into your estate. So we don't have such things in Nigeria. So what we've done is to say, you know what, 
If you and nine, several Nigerians are dual nationals now, mm. or triple nationals. Most Nigerians. Like, <laughs> so we encourage you to have different wills for each. So your Nigerian, all the assets in Nigeria have a will to protect them, to cover them. The one in, the, in France, in the EU, in America have a different will to get it done. Okay. So there's nothing wrong in having multiple wills. Oh, okay, so, yeah. you, so you can have a cross, <laughs> cross different areas. And, and basically, you, need, you just need to get it done because you need to protect yourself and your loved ones at the end of the day. Mm. Well, thank you so much for yeah. joining us on the morning show. Your um, platform has been quite inspiring and informative, and I wish you good luck. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys will... Well, let me know as Zoom you don't have a will. So, uh, uh, yes, let, as let, you. Let, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Well, this brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching. I am Oji Yakbe. And I'm Rafael Yosuni. From our entire team here in Lagos, enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.